A blessed day and welcome. This morning we will be meditating on Matthew chapter 2 and verse 13. When they had gone, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream. Get up, he said. Take the child and his mother and escape to Egypt. Stay there until I tell you, for Herod is going to search for the child to kill him. We learned that humility is displayed through a life of obedience. This morning, we learn many lessons from the verse we are meditating upon. And the first of these is that even Herod acknowledged Jesus as the rightful king of Israel. Because it was affirmed by the Gentile wise men and a fulfillment of both scripture and the priest's confirmation. This is why we read on that Herod feared and wanted to kill every child in the vicinity. Beloved ones, there is no doubt at all that Jesus is the Son of God and the King of Israel. The truth can never be concealed. People may deny the truth and refuse to accept it, but nobody can change the truth. And that is that Jesus Christ is Lord today. One day soon, every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord. The second lesson we learn is that God was in control of the situation. That is why God sent an angel to warn Joseph. When we acknowledge Jesus as the Lord and we live under his care, there is no need to fear for he is in charge. Nothing can happen without God's knowledge. He is the creator of the universe. In the midst of threatening news, an uncertainty. The word of God declares that the angel of the Lord appeared. We don't worship a God. We worship the Lord who is above every situation and circumstance. A construction crew was building a new road through a rural area, knocking down trees as it progressed. A superintendent noticed that one of the trees had a nest of birds who couldn't yet fly and he marked the tree so that it would not be cut down. Several weeks later the superintendent came back to the tree. He got into a bucket truck and was lifted up so that he could look into the nest. The fledgings were gone. They had obviously learned to fly. The superintendent ordered the tree to be cut down. As the tree crashed to the ground, the nest fell clear and some of the material that the birds had gathered to make the nest was scattered about. Part of it was scrap, torn from a Sunday school pamphlet. On the scrap of paper were these words, He careth for you. Beloved ones, when we fully and completely trust the Lord, we are rest assured of His goodness in all circumstances and in the presence of challenges. Therefore, trust Him. He knows fully well what's going on. God's got this. Therefore, remember, there is nothing that can overwhelm you because your Lord is right beside you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, you are an awesome God who never fails. I receive your peace that passeth all understanding and trust we can do this together. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Shalom Maranatha.